In this demonstration, we'll show you how to perform make to stock with Dynamics 365 Business Central. Now, keep in mind, right, make to stock is a typical strategy that businesses rely on to match production and inventory with customer demand forecasts. The advantage of producing, uh, of producing for stock is companies are, in the most scenarios, able to spread the production evenly over uh, a given period of time. Well, let's begin in this demonstration showing you how we enter in a, a sales forecast. We'll then create a production plan and then create a production order. So first, we'll go ahead and create a sales forecast. And so here I am, I'm logged into Business Central and uh, by default, I'm using the production planner role-based homepage so that gives me context uh, actions and activities and information that's specific to uh, me and the job that I'm performing. Up at the top, you'll notice that I have the demand forecast. And then so from here, I can select any one of the forecasts that we've created, or I can certainly create a new one. And in this view, which is configured, you could see here, configured by the month, users can quickly and easily understand the forecast sales item and the related components. Now, while there's additional views that can be displayed either by day, week, month, year, uh, even accounting period, right? I can see that my current forecast in April, May, and June for this particular item, the, the bicycle. Next, all right, depending on or based upon that demand forecast that we just saw, right? the next step is the master production schedule. I need to create a plan uh, of order for those suggested items. So in that same role-based homepage, I'll select my tasks and the planning worksheet, which is used to plan production, assembly, purchase, and uh, transfer orders just based upon the specified demand forecast. So I'll click on that. And now planners can take advantage of the, basically the embedded intelligence to assist in their tasks. So when the planner selects this calculate regenerative plan, the application creates suggested orders, uh, uh, purchase orders, production orders, assembly, etc., into the planning worksheet. Notice now you've got some detailed options which you can select uh, prior to creating the plan. In this case here, I've got MPS selected. Uh, I have to generate the production order to satisfy the demand for the bicycle. Uh, I'm using the start date and end date of May 1st uh, to get to filter on to use the plan just for that month. My forecast is the 2019 and I'm filtered on the the bicycle, the item number one, uh, 10, 000, oh, 1000. I'll select OK. And now the planning sheet has been uh, created, right? And you see the highlights here. So in number one, the in the action message, it says new. In the uh, description, you see the bicycle, you see the reference order type is the production, and then you see the reference uh, order number, and then you see the quantity of 150 based on that demand. And now I'll create the production order. So the planning worksheet lines are, are converted into production orders. If, we, uh, if this is selected, you have the accept action message checked. And then by choosing the carry out message or the carry out action, the system will remove the suggested line items and it will create the production order. Right, the production order is created. Now I chose it to create it as firm planned based on that selection. Then users can select additional options to specify how the assembly order, the purchase order, and the transfer order should be handled. I'll click OK. And then that planning worksheet now is blank, it's clear. So all the lines from that planning worksheet with the accept action message was selected, they're removed when the carry out option is, is chosen. And now you'll see here in the last step, I have uh, returning the production plan or role center, I've got a one under the firm plan production orders in the activity queue. 